Hi, the video you're about to see will look nothing like this. Um, I filmed that video about a week ago and I'm really glad I did because uh, then everything went wrong. <laughs> Real quickly, let me adjust the glasses. Something happened to my eyes. It's not pink eye, it's something else. Something happened to my eyes and now they hurt and you guys don't need to see me squinting in pain. So I'm really, really glad I taped some videos last week because I don't know when I'll feel like filming again. I feel like filming a little bit tonight, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna feel like filming later on. So I just wanted to explain that the video you're about to see, I look happy and peppy and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, because I thought things were going great and then they weren't. So um, I'm back, sorta. Enjoy. Have you ever tried to film an intro like 15 times? Yeah. Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. You're inside the stitchery and I'm back. Hi, if you're new, I'm Shannon. I'm the Spoonie Stitcher. A Spoonie is somebody who lives with a chronic condition. I have several and um, I'm also a zebra, somebody with a rare condition or an undiagnosed condition. Again, I have several. Aren't I lucky? Um, no, but I am lucky. I am fortunate. I have this beautiful stitchery and I have all of you and I have so many more subscribers ever since December. Woo! It skyrocketed. I now have close to 2,900. So I'm really getting up there with numbers and I don't know why you guys like to watch me, but I do appreciate that you watch me and I hope you still want to watch me when I get to later in the video and I tell you about some changes that are gonna be made. <laughs> but first, since so many of you checked on me and asked about me during the break, I did take a break if you didn't know, cause you're new. Um, at the end of December, my body had just had it. I had been on go, go, go and had several big health issues pop up during August. And ever since August, my body just kept going downhill and I kept pushing it and it kept being a problem. And it was my first year on YouTube and it was chaos. So we can't do that again, but um, it did make me take a break. I still had videos because I had lots of pre-recorded things, except for one. Can you guess which one? That's right, the Mal's video. I, I filmed that one, but uh, some people said I looked tired. Thank you, I know, I look tired. <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> I'm gonna be tired for a long time, a long time. So um, I just gotta do what I gotta do. You wanna guess what time it is that I'm filming this? Go ahead, take a guess. Guess in the comments what time you think it is that I'm filming right now. So yes, I took a break and I had some pre-recorded videos that uh, that's why some of them are, have Halloween backgrounds. <laughs> It's because they were pre-recorded <laughs> and I never put them out. Either YouTube was having issues and couldn't put them out or not necessarily YouTube. I do have a really bad internet, so that can happen as well. But uh, the videos just wouldn't go out for one reason or another. And a lot of you were asking about the Potter Tots and where's Lord Voldemort. I made him. I have a tutorial. It's made, but I cannot upload it. I have tried several times and I cannot upload it. I am willing to try again, maybe in the summer. Uh, I don't really know if he's like a spring pattern, so I don't know if I want to put him out right now, but I did make him, the tutorial is there and he does come with Nagini and I'm so sorry that if you want to make him because he does exist, I swear. I made the tutorial and everything, but he's not, he's not loading. So I don't know what to do, but um, anyway, health stuff. So for those of you who don't care about the health stuff, I will have timestamps in this video and every section 
will have a timestamp. So if you want to fast forward, I completely understand. If you want to listen to the whole video, oh, it does help my channel. I do appreciate it. When you watch the video from start to end and you watch the ads, it does help me. You know, the ads have countdowns, so like you could time it if you wanted to go run and grab something to drink or run to the restroom or something like that. You could probably time it just right. And rewind doesn't hurt me. So, you know, if you miss a few minutes and want to back it up. Just putting that out there. Okay, so the health stuff. Yeah, not the most fun subject, but we gotta talk about it, right? Because this is the Spoonie Stitcher channel. The health stuff is just gonna be part of it. And I wanted to go so much harder on the health stuff during January and February, but ironically, my own health was declining. <laughs> so I couldn't talk about what you can do because I was feeling like, why? So, oh well. I have tried to get in to see my GI specialist forever, and it's just not happening. He's not available or whatever. And uh, my other specialist is, can't see me till the 7th of March, which at the time you're seeing this, I didn't pre record this that much. I only pre recorded this a week in advance, so. I don't count that as pre-recording. <laughs> um, it's still it's still pretty live, you know. End of February still counts for the beginning of March, I think. So, yeah, in a few days I will see her, and I'm praying she can tell me something because I'm kind of at my wit's end with a couple of these things. My body was getting slightly tolerable around January, and then it's like everything went crazy. I don't know. My mouth started acting up really badly. My endometriosis was a disaster, which by the way, ha, fun fact, endometriosis month is March. So all your little spoony warriors, if you've got endo, you can switch that little cape to yellow if you want to. <laughs> so yeah, we'll talk more about endometriosis in another video, but um, wear yellow to support. Please get checked out if you have abnormal symptoms for you know, things, um, please ask questions. Never be afraid to ask your doctors questions because what you may think is normal or you think, oh, it's just me. No, it's not just you. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Uh, things just aren't going well. I am becoming nocturnal, badly nocturnal. Um, it's not my fault. It's just how things are going and so that's where we're at. My body is betraying me and there's nothing I can do about it. So I just have to go with the flow. So I would appreciate it if I didn't get any more comments about how tired I look. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I edit these videos and I know how tired I look. <laughs> so if there's ever a time when I don't look tired, tell me. <laughs> I would love to hear that. <laughs> oh. But it had to be addressed because so many people mentioned it. <laughs> there was one video especially where they were like, we're really worried about you because you look like you're about to collapse. I probably was. I probably was. <laughs> That's just the reality of it. So I sleep when I can. That's it. I am trying my best to have a channel schedule. Okay, we've been doing Mondays and Thursdays and occasionally the monthly Wednesday ver uh, video. And Film Fridays, where are they? I haven't filmed any yet, I'm sorry. I haven't filmed any Film Fridays yet. And I have ideas and they will happen because I am super passionate about classic film. Um, if you're new to the channel, Film Fridays are when I talk about classic film. It might be a bunch of videos that have a kind of theme to go with them. It might be one particular movie. We might be focusing on an actor or actress. We might be focusing on a genre, a director, a costume designer, something like that. Um, but we just I just go into film. And I give you guys some trivia facts, which are fun. And then I also tell you why you should see it. Because I don't talk about anything on here that you shouldn't see. 
Well, that's not true. I actually did make a video during Christmas about some of the Christmas movies I don't think are worth it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I was kind of asked to make that video, which was kind of funny. So you can go watch that. That's funny. <laughs> but for the most part, I only talk about the things that I want you to go see. So, um, yeah. So they are mostly classic films that I just talk about and I call it Film Fridays and the videos are always on a Friday. Now on my channel, if there is a tutorial of any kind, it will be on a Saturday, which yes, could end up replacing a Monday or Thursday video. Um, so there may only be two videos that week, but if there is, look on Friday or Saturday to see, oh, maybe her Thursday video is gonna be a Film Friday or a tutorial on a Saturday, okay? So keep a lookout for that. So speaking of channel stuff, we have to address the talk contest. So a lot of you entered, um, it is over now. We are in the middle of picking out the pieces. Um, my parents are the first layer of judges. They will find their favorite five and I gave them criteria to look at. And then I will post it on the community tab here on YouTube and the world can vote. And of course you can vote for yourself. <laughs> and then we will have a winner and in the winner video, before I announce the winner, that's right, I'm gonna make you watch the whole thing. I'm so mean. <laughs> You're gonna be really happy you watch the whole thing. Cause I'm gonna show you what they won. And oh, if you didn't win, then you might feel like, oh, maybe I should have entered. Hmm, maybe you should have. Because the kind of goodies that I show for a prize can also be something I would show in, you know, the G word. There isn't one in this video, but if there was one, it would be hidden in a video because I don't like that people are, I don't, I don't like that people are being attacked on their videos about why don't you do this more? I keep seeing this and this is ugly people. YouTube is not to be ugly. We're here for fun. We're here for excitement. We're here to escape a lot of our lives. A lot of you guys are spoonies. We want an escape. <laughs> so don't be nasty. Okay. People are doing the best they can. If you see walls like this, can I tell you how I got my yarn? Gifts. I get gifted. Maybe it's from my parents. Maybe it's from relatives, friends. Some of you have gifted me yarn. That's how I get my yarn. And yes, I buy some. I have a little bit set aside for each month that I have as a little yarn budget. And yeah, I, I buy my yarn, but I'm also the queen of sales. So that's another reason you want to watch my channel. A lot of people have asked me if I can do a video about, you know, how do I look for a deal and stuff like that. Sure, I can do that. Maybe I'll plan it just right so I can get you guys on the cusp of there's about to be a sale that I know about that maybe you don't know about because I am the research queen. I, that's what I do. I have literally nothing else to do with my life, so I do research. <laughs> I, ha I have been asked though, like, how do you get such great yarn and stuff? Yeah, strategic. I'm pretty strategic about my shopping, so yeah. But this is accumulated over time. And please remember, if you've seen my channel, I make tiny things. <laughs> so the people who go through, you know, tons and tons of yarn labels in a year, yeah, that's not me. I make small things. <laughs> One little skein of yarn can actually last me a pretty good while, so <laughs> I'm not a blanket channel, so I don't go through tons and tons of yarn. So yes, it accumulates. <laughs> and then of course I like to try out different yarns. I love to do yarn reviews, which I've only done a couple and I don't know why I do, don't do more because they're actually very successful on my channel and people like them. So maybe I should. And a lot of people like the fact that I do my yarn reviews kind of towards Amagurumi, which there isn't a lot out there that's actually geared towards would this yarn work for Amagurumi. Now, Elise Rose has actually made a video all about is this yarn good for Amagurumi? And I highly recommend her channel. She's amazing. And she works with Premier Yarns a lot. And um, they do have a lot of good yarns for, for Amagurumi. I do, I do agree. 
I was actually sent something from a new company. The Craft Easy Company sent me not one, not two, but three of their safety eye tools. These are prototypes. They are not released yet. There's not even a Kickstarter for these quite yet, but they still want me to test them. You might see lots of people on Instagram have talked about these, but uh, not a lot of YouTubers yet, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video all about these, but they sent me three sizes. Now, they sent other YouTubers uh, sizes as well, but they didn't get three. Why did I get three? Because this company happened to already follow me and they must have seen that I make giant things like my Broadway bears and they use huge like 22 millimeter eyes and they also make little things like this and they have tiny little eyes and then I also make, you know, like my cups that you saw and they have medium sized eyes. So I guess they were like, let's send her all of them because she uses all of them obviously. So um, yeah, that was kind of exciting. I didn't know they were going to send me anything, honestly. I only had two conversations with the company, but yeah, so expect that video, meh, probably this month. Okay, so let's talk about March specifically. March is, uh, if you didn't know, it's National Crochet Month. Yeah, not just Endometriosis Month. We actually have something to look forward to. So it's, <laughs> it's National Crochet Month and um, I had plans for National Crochet Month. I had a tutorial for National Crochet Month and everything just isn't gonna happen. But the one thing that I'm determined to make happen is the hook tournament. You might've heard me talk about this a little bit. If you're on my Facebook group, you know all about it because I asked you what your favorite hooks were. Why did I do that? Because I only want to test out the most commonly used crochet hooks everybody's favorite and which one is the best. So you know how March Madness has like their brackets and then um, if you're like me, I love Food Network Tournament of Champions. I never miss it. Um, and this year is getting really good, isn't it? <sighs> no spoilers in the comments, okay? Nobody talk about it, but if you know, you know. Woo. Um, yeah, so I love Tournament of Champions and they have a bracket as well, which is like their March Madness but this is gonna be our March Madness. We are going to have a hook tournament. I'm going to have separate little videos about the battle of the hooks. In this corner, we have Boy. In this corner, we have Susan Bates. Who will win? <laughs> Something like that. And so we are specifically testing them on the channel for Amigurumi. Why did I do that? First of all, I'm kind of an Amigurumi artist for the most part, but also, I am testing them for that because you have to be careful with sizes. Certain hooks don't come in certain sizes. And so I had to pick a size everything came in. What we're gonna do is you're just gonna see separate videos and they're gonna go through separate challenges. Like how many bobbles can this hook take? How many treble crochet can this one make? How many, how tight the stitches can this one make? How tight the tension can it take? So um, hopefully no hooks are harmed in the making of this, but I have no idea but I'm willing to risk it for all of you. So if I have a hook fund after this, you'll know why. <laughs> but at least you don't have to do it to your hooks. Okay, so what's the deal with tutorials? <sighs> They're a lot harder to film than you think. I love teaching you guys and I really appreciate how many people have told me that they think I'm a great teacher. That means the world to me because I do love teaching you. However, I need a bit of a break from trying to film tutorials. I, I am struggling with filming tutorials, not just my space, but I've got lighting issues. I've got space issues. I've got hand issues. Every time I try to film a tutorial, that's when my hand starts to cramp up or it starts to do the shake thing or, or it's like, it'll forget how to make a stitch. It's, I don't know, my hand has performance anxiety. I don't know. So, but the biggest problem I have right now is lighting. And lighting is huge in tutorials. So um, I'm, I'm still working with that. I'm also working with just my phone and my phone is having serious issues with focus. A lot of you guys are saying you can't see certain things. I know you can't. I'm so sorry. Why do you think I have so many little things that are written at the top or at the bottom or a separate box? Because the camera won't pick it up. 
I have a really nice phone. It's supposed to do all the fancy things. However, I don't know what happened, but at some point I was having issues with volume. So they did a diagnostic from Apple to my phone and it was unbelievable. She did something and now focus on my camera doesn't work very well. And the sound issue is not fixed. So she, she just made it worse. I don't know what she did, but it's so much worse. And <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? So I am looking into lighting issues and mic issues. Some of you guys can't hear me. So um, I'm going to try and find a little lapel microphone that I can wear so that you guys can hear me at least. So um, I would like a really nice microphone to do voiceovers and stuff eventually, but you know, budget is small. And so I'm fine with a little, a little lapel. And I think people who are on the lapel mic sound good. So I, I think that that's, that's something to look into. So yeah, so I'm gonna work on that. And before I'm doing any more tutorials, I've gotta fix those issues because no, we're not doing this. So if you guys can't see me and hear me, what is the point of a tutorial? I'm still working on the little Spoonie Warrior tutorial, but I do have a written pattern on my Facebook group, which is really easy to join. You don't even really have to have Facebook. All you really need is to sign up, give it an email. You don't have to post anything to join our group. You just have to have a Facebook account, which doesn't require much from you because you can say no to everything, by the way. And you could always use your middle name as your first name or something like that. Like, you know, you don't have to use real information. All they need is the real email. That's all they need. They need a real email. If you want to create a separate email just for this, just for Facebook, just to be in our group, do it. It's really easy. And then answer the two questions. What do I say at the end of every video? Every single video. I don't understand why people can't answer that one. It's every video, every video since the very beginning. Anyway, and uh, what do you like about yarn? That's it, that's it, how easy is that? So, and you get access to all kinds of exclusive things. They got to vote, they got to talk about hooks with me, they got to find out the patterns that are coming out, they got to see the patterns before anybody else, they got the Easter pattern a whole week before you guys. In fact, at the time of this video, you haven't even seen the Easter pattern yet. But they have, they have it. Some of them already made it, yeah. It's very quick. It's a no-sew pattern, completely no-sew and no safety eyes. So no, no small parts for children. Very, very easy and fits in an Easter egg. So it's very worth joining, honestly. It's very worth joining. Um, they also get exclusive patterns once in a while. They've gotten a couple that you guys have never seen. In fact, I haven't even shown them on the channel. Okay, so what's the channel change up? So I, I wanna have some fun. <laughs> I wanna have some fun. I don't know about you guys, but I love watching art challenges. I think art challenges are so fun. And so I was wondering if you could do them with crochet. For example, one of my favorite uh, art YouTubers is Mariah Elizabeth. Yeah, I talk about her a lot. I know, me and Cindy at the Rumi Mill, we love her. <laughs> I think Cassandra at Craftably Ever After loves her too. Yeah, she's got millions of fans. Anyway, um, she has something called Create This Book and she has three volumes of it now. And um, I bought the first one. This book is art prompts. So what you do is there is a prompt on the page and they're for people to just draw or whatever it says to do, usually draw, sometimes tear up stuff, but usually draw. And um, it's just to help boost your creativity when you're stuck or you don't know what to do and stuff like that. Well, I was wondering if we could crochet this book. I don't know if it'll work. I have no idea if it's possible, but I'm excited to give it a try. So expect some videos about that. Uh, what I'd probably do is I'd probably do a little bit of sketching first so that I have like an idea of where I want to go and then we'll crochet it. The other idea I had was I was watching um, Mira Byler 
and she bought art dice. So what you do is you roll them and they give you, there's all different ones. They can give you a medium to work with like pastels, drawing pencil, um, watercolor, acrylic paint, that kind of thing. And then another die, a place, you know, city, country, outer space, that kind of thing. Um, and then another one can give you an animal or um, mammal, bird, human, you know, that kind of thing. Another one can give you a time of year, another one can give you weather, all, all kinds of things. So obviously the medium block is out because I would use yarn, but I thought that would be so fun. And I was playing with it upstairs with my mom and um, I got the weirdest one. I was like, what do I do with this? And she came up with a whole story. <laughs> a whole story about the little red bug. So now I kind of want to crochet the little red bug, but um, yeah, the little red bug who lives on an ice cream in the snowy mountains. Don't ask. <laughs> oh, it's a whole thing. Anyway, see how fun though that these dies can just make your creativity soar. And so I thought it'd be really fun to crochet whatever I stumble across. <laughs> and, um, you know, I wouldn't crochet like an entire scene or anything. But speaking of our little red bug who lives on an ice cream, maybe we crochet the ice cream and the little red bug. And, you know, to show that he lives in the snowy mountains, maybe we make him a little scarf or something. Um, you know, some, something like that. And so <laughs> I, I, it just sounded fun. So I wanted to see if these art dice would work with crochet. Why not? I haven't seen anybody else do that. And maybe they have, but I want to do it too. Another thing that I've seen is um, a plushie from real life being crocheted. Skein Spider recently did this and oh my gosh, it was amazing. I thought hers was better than the original plushie. I really did. I thought hers was better than the original plushie in a store sold all around the world. I thought hers was way cuter, so yeah. But I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, maybe have you guys even vote on what should I do? You know, I thought that would be kind of fun. and. Um, just different challenges like that, something fun. Um, I kind of also want to do the three color challenge and um, other art challenges that I've seen on the internet, I think would be kind of fun. It's like, okay, can this be yarned? <laughs> can we do this with yarn? You know, I thought that'd be kind of fun. So if you guys would think any challenges you think would be kind of fun to do with yarn, leave them down below or email me or whatever, and um, I will add them to the list. Another series that I want to start is, um, I kind of already started it with a yarn section, but I wanted to see if I could take art and turn it into a tot. So um, you probably saw the uh, yarn edition called Can It Tot? Well, let's see if we can totify something else. So, um, it's still going to be called can it tot, but, uh, yes, my, my new, my new verb is totify coined by me. <laughs> so yes, um, I was supposed to do that with my friend, but that didn't work out because, and segue, oh, look at that segue, Shannon, way to go. I am so excited and I'm going to document it so you guys can see my friend is spending her birthday at. Disney World and she loves Disney World and she goes there all the time and her Galentine's Day box was a total fail. We won't get into that. So I said, I don't know what to make you girl. I don't know what to do. I am struggling with ideas. Amazon has given me nothing. Everything I'm looking at on Amazon, I don't want to get you. It's, it's a waste of time. This isn't working. And I have one item for her box. It's so sad. One item. And I went, what am I going to do? And I know you guys know about the thing I was planning for her. It didn't work and I'm actually shocked it didn't work but I haven't given up on that one yet but it didn't work and I'm still stunned about it but anyway um I finally had the idea a few days ago I said okay you love to Disney bound and I know that you're gonna pick a character for every single day that you're there what if I crochet stuff to go with your Disney bound outfits but you gotta tell me what characters you're doing I could make her a little keychain. I could give her a little fingerless gloves, make her a little hat. And I'm even going to try and attempt the mouse ears. Crochet mouse ears. I know people do them, but I've never done anything like that. And so, whew, and I'm nervous because all of these Disney people will see it. And 
yikes yeah so and I don't I don't want to give her anything that she doesn't like and so um but I'm very excited and as soon as I have information I will let you guys know and we will do um probably a few series of videos about making my girls some some birthday Disney bounding stuff so um yeah so I'm excited to do that I gotta get her the stuff before she goes and she leaves you know kind of early in April so I gotta make sure she gets the box so that's what my March is gonna be it's gonna be making stuff for her um but I'm so excited to make stuff for her because she loves what she has kept every single thing that I've made for her oh and her nickname is um Lemonella so she is a combination of Honey Lemon from Big Hero 6 and Cinderella from Cinderella in my mind I have coined this phrase so I call her Lemonella <laughs> sometimes I just call her lemon <laughs> hey girl she watches my videos and um, she does not crochet she just watches them to support me so <laughs> Okay, my one little loyal subscriber who just wants more and more episodes of this, thank you so much. Who's That Tot is coming back with gusto. Oh yeah, I have so many Who's That Tot ideas and most of them are YouTubers. So if you are a YouTuber and you are watching this, you could be an episode of Who's That Tot. You never know. So if you're new, Who's That Tot is the series I created where I make a taut version of somebody famous, whether that's a YouTuber, a celebrity, a character from a book or a movie. Um, it could be a Disney character, you know, it could be anything. And um, I love it because what I do is I let you guys guess and I'm going to change it around this time around. You guys get to guess at the beginning of the video. That's right. You don't know what I'm making unless you watch the video. <laughs> yes. So you have to guess at the beginning of the video. Whoever comments first and gets it correct, we're going to shout out in the next episode of Who's That Tot? And so, yeah. And if you're a YouTuber, you could be the next Who's That Tot. You never know. So, but I love my one little subscriber who just keeps asking if it's coming back. I love you so much because I love it too. It's probably my favorite series that I've done on this channel. And um, I wanted it to be a lot more game showy, <laughs> but that's just not the way it turned out. And that's fine. Um, I did have someone ask me if there's a theme song. <laughs> I don't have a theme song for it, but that would be kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know, something like, who's that tot? I don't know, something like that is so cute. So um, I have done several already. I did Teresa at Critters Crochet. I did Kimberly with Knit for Brains. I did Caroline at Caroline for the Love of Crochet. Ashley at Gwinspired and Amanda, Tat Mama and the Beg Brigade. So yeah. <laughs> I've done I've done several youtubers and of course I don't watch just crochet YouTube no no um if you don't know I'm a huge Oz fan so I love Tori at the Oz vlog and I love teacup for one and I love Mickey Joe theater and Broadway by Ghostlight and so many others and then of course i love my art youtubers like mira byler and super ray dizzle and jazza and um nerdy crafter mariah elizabeth of course and i've already had a couple people ask if mariah elizabeth is on the list of course she's on the list but i have something very special planned for that one so you never know you never know um, but yes, I am going to do a lot of Who's That Taught episodes, so get ready. <laughs> so I have had a couple people ask if I will ever have a website. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. If you guys have any suggestions or advice for people who are trying to just make a simple little blog website where I can post patterns, that's all I want. I just want a simple little, I'm not selling anything. I'm just giving you guys this stuff for free. I just want a place where I can send you where the whole world can see it. You know, it doesn't matter what country you live in. It doesn't matter if you have social media. It would just be a website 
that maybe has a little bit about my channel. Maybe you'll have a couple little updates here and there, you know, kind of blog style. And then of course, patterns. So you guys want patterns. I want to write the patterns. Let's put them somewhere. And um, yeah. And I really need that website soon because uh, this fall, buckle up. Patterns will be coming because we are having a huge crochet along much bigger than the one I did in December. Oh my gosh. Some will have tutorials. The more complicated ones will have tutorials so that you guys can see how to do the details and stuff. But most of them will be written patterns that will be posted hopefully on a website. Um, and we are doing something really fun and a little spooky. Another question I got is, am I going to do any collabs? Yep. I have a few collabs um, already set up. I have one for May with Teresa from Critters Crochet. In October, I have a collaboration with my decade divas. Um, that is Ashley at Gwinspired, Amy at Hooked on Wishing, Sonnet at The Sonnet Silence, Teresa at Critters Crochet, and myself. So all five of us. We're taking over October. <laughs> You will see us everywhere in October. Yeah, so not going to say anything more than that, but I would follow all of us so you get to see all the videos. So I've also had a bunch of people reach out to me and I've reached out to some and we want to do collabs together, but we have no actual plans. So um, I would love to do a yarn swap with some again, someone again. That was really fun. I did one with Ashley at Woodspired last year because it was our birthdays and so we swapped. Okay, so you should have seen your first little taste of Wicked Wednesday. What did you think? Interesting, maybe? So I'm going to try and have a Wicked Wednesday video once a month. Don't want to overload you guys with Wicked stuff. Maybe twice a month because I do really want to make something to take with me to the theater. Yeah, on top of my giant project, I know. Um, <laughs> and um, I wanna have an episode about some of my favorite renditions of the costumes, cause you know, I love costumes. And we can talk about some of the different film adaptations. We might talk about some of my favorite actors or actresses who have played certain characters. Um, Wicked Wednesday is just gonna be all about Wicked and Oz, okay? If you are not interested in Wicked and Oz, don't watch those videos and you won't hurt my feelings. It's okay. I understand people are not all about that. That's fine. Although, did you know, Wicked is the most anticipated movie of 2024 so far, according to the critics. So, and of course, once the Wicked movie comes out and will I stop talking about Wicked? No, you've got a whole nother year to look forward to Wicked content because the movie's in two parts. Sorry. <laughs> I love Wicked and it's very rare for one of my fandoms to actually have some stuff happening. So it's great. <laughs> I love it. So look forward or don't to those videos, but there won't be that many. So um, once or twice a month, that's about it. I'm not going to overload you guys with Wicked stuff, I promise. I know a lot of you aren't interested and that's fine. Although did you notice the pink, blue, green yarn right here? <laughs> To shape my background. Yes, the orange and yellow had nowhere else to go. So. <laughs> they don't fit in there, otherwise these two would switch. <laughs> I am working on a pattern that I am in love with. I, I want to make a million. I love it so much. I love that I made it versatile, like just change one or two things and it's a different pattern. I am not releasing it until the summer. What do you guys have to look forward to? Well, the slideshow from the contest, I will post that fairly soon. And um, I'm gonna try and do a voiceover. I've never done that before, but we shall see um, because I would like to talk about the different ones you guys made because it's so interesting and they're so cool and they're so different. Um, I don't want to just show pictures. I want to talk about them because they're all so wonderful. So I guess we'll do that um, fairly soon. I have a video all about whips versus UFOs. That's coming out really soon. I think I might even be wearing the same sweatshirt. 
I don't know. I wear this sweatshirt a lot, you guys, because I love it. I love it. This, this, this sweatshirt is everything. I love this sweatshirt so much. It has all my favorite Disney characters except Pinocchio. We don't talk about him. It's only missing a few, honestly, but it's got some of my favorites like Lady and Tramp and Alice. So yeah, but that video is coming out fairly soon. What else? Um, I filmed a couple more just to, so I'm not, you know, filming months in advance anymore, but I am still filming a few weeks in advance and stuff, just so I don't get behind and overwhelmed and stuff. And make sure you guys have two videos every week. So that's the plan. I hope you like the new plans for the channel. If you don't, I understand. Um, if you wanted more tutorials, I have been making shorts on some crochet hacks. So you might want to watch those. Um, I do have a few tutorials here and there about some tips and tricks. Don't forget to, tri to check out the videos of the tips and tricks secret sessions. Those are some early videos I made. That's a playlist on my channel. Of course, I also have my Amigurumi and my Beginner Basics playlists, so um, you can check those out as well. So am I building your anticipation? Yes. And am I doing that on purpose? Yes. I am a YouTuber. It's kind of what we're expected to do. Speaking of which, oh, here we go. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to tell your friends. All that jazz. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know every time I post a new video, they like when I say stuff like this, okay? <laughs> but truly, I do make money off of this channel. It does help me financially. I am also an O-Fire affiliate. Once again, if you want to order an O-Fire hook, please use my link. It's always in my bio. Um, and for those of you who like sending me cards, keep sending them. My PO box is down below and I love cards. I love cards so much. So yes, if you want to keep sending mail, do it. I love it. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I absolutely love getting mail and I really love cards. <laughs> so um, for those of you who wrote me a Christmas card, I am going to respond to you. I don't care if it's an Easter card or a summer card or something, but I will not let this year go by without re responding with a card to anyone who wrote me a card. So if you're still here, this little guy needs a name. This is called a Corgi Hottie. You put it in the microwave and then put it on your chest. I saw it in the store and I just needed it, okay? <laughs> Plus it's like a heating pad, so it's a medical expense, right? <laughs> I just needed it. If you don't know, I used to have a Corgi years ago. She passed away. Um, we might get another one but I'm still kind of hurting even though it's been several years since she's been gone. Um, but I have gotten to the place where I at least want to talk about getting another one. So I think that's a big step. And um, yeah, so help me figure out a cute little name for this guy and it'll let me know you watch the video all the way through. So, yep. So. Thank you so much for being here today. Remember to name my little friend down below and then we can pick a little name for him or her. And I will see you in the next video. Remember, life happens. Yarn helps and Spoonies can stitch it up too. Goodbye.